Hannat Allen Beck, who is a business law professor at Case Western University. Thanks so much indeed for joining us. So I'm just looking at some of the latest uh, global social media statistics. Apparently, 15% uh, of our lives is spent using social media. And there are about 4.74 billion social media users around the world. But do you think 44 billion is too much for Twitter? I don't think it's too much. I think that Musk is doing the deal of his life. He's buying Town Square. He's buying power. He's going to be able to decide who's going to use the platform, including U.S. presidents, what kind of messages we're going to get on social media. And as you know, this is the, uh, at least I use this outlet for news, for discourse. Reporters use it as well. People from around the world are using it. So he's definitely purchasing one of the most powerful platforms out there that's very significant, I think, for the world and for the United States as well. Yeah, really interesting to say that he's buying power. And a lot of people don't like the idea of billionaires buying up uh, mediums of communication, and there are plenty of examples. Is there any reason to be concerned that Elon Musk is taking Twitter private? There's always concern. Right. Whenever somebody is taking an, a company private and here you have to remember Twitter is going dark. Right. There's always concern as to what's going to happen with this company. What's going to happen with monitoring the content? Who's going to monitor that? What's going to happen? Um, and we're going to know less and less. They are not going to be required to file periodic reporting with the SEC. We won't know what's going on with the bot issue that he says he wants to fix. Are we going to have more or less bots? And so uh, I am personally uh, concerned, and I hope uh, that um, this is not going to go bad for uh, all the users. Anat, have you heard this yeah. idea, I'm sure you have, that Musk wants to possibly investigate the possibilities of turning Twitter into a super app. What is a super app? How important is it going to be in terms of how we interact with the world? I think I've heard about that. It's definitely uh, an idea that he has. The one thing, and I will give him credit for that, he's been amazing at building uh, great companies that we like to use uh, their products. I like to use some of the products of the companies that he's built. He will know how to monetize Twitter, he will hopefully suggest some ways for us uh, to improve uh, communication. And so I'm looking forward to seeing what he's going to do with it next. Is this a company uh, that can benefit him? Definitely. Can he monetize uh, from it with regards to advertisements and the like? 100% if he takes it to the right spot. And I will give him credit that as a businessman, he has proven himself. He's got the track record of taking companies and leading them. Uh, through stages of disruptive innovation. And I have faith that he will be able to do at least that with this company. But as with everybody else, I want to see what he's doing. Yeah, in terms of advertising, uh, Twitter, according again to this research that has just emerged, is 14th in the list of how many people its adverts can reach, 544 million. I'm not sure if that's a lot or just a few. What about the biggest dangers of uh, freedom of speech and of course, we know that former U.S. President Donald Trump is not on the platform anymore because uh, previously Twitter's uh, senior executives had decided that his language was too dangerous. And Elon Musk has said he wants Trump to come back. What are your thoughts about that? Well, I, you know, I'm a lawyer, so I'm going to give you a few opinions on this. On the one hand, uh, we want to have a platform where people can express their opinions. On the other hand, we are also careful about democracy about having foreign interference on these platforms and there are national security concerns as well. And so what I'm hoping is that we're going to have some sort of a regulation, just not just with regards to Twitter, but with regards to all the social media platforms. And we're going to check what's going on there. Are we promoting hate speech? Are we really allowing free speech? And who's going to monitor the discourse? And I think that's where uh, we should put some more um, efforts into deciding on that regulation, especially when it's very hard, at least in the United States, to regulate this issue of privacy and consumers and what is it, and what kind of messages you can push at consumers. That's Anna's Alon Beck. Uh, Anna, thanks so much indeed. You're in Ohio. It's the middle of the night for you. Really, really appreciate it.